Well, welcome back to the channel. We have come down here to Laurel Snow Falls um, in the, I think it's the Pocket Wilderness, uh, outside of Dayton. I am here with uh, my friend Ron. Let me turn the camera around. Ron is over here getting some uh, shots of the waterfall. Uh, still got a lot of ice and snow. Not so much that it's dangerous to walk around, but uh, enough that it makes for some interesting shots all the way down into this little crevice down here. There's also a lot of uh, spots on the way from the car park to here that we're going to stop at on the way back. Um, so I'm not going to do a lot of video here, just to kind of show you where we're at. Uh, it's about, it's a little over two and a half miles, I think, 2.7 miles maybe from the car park in here. And it's not a bad hike except for like the last seven tenths of a mile. <laughs> and then I thought I was going to die. Um, so if you do come in here, I highly recommend that you bring some water because you're going to need it by the time you get here. Bring at least one walking stick. Maybe I would have done better with two, probably, because I'm a little off balance. And uh, something to snack on because uh, you're going to need some energy to get back out of here. But uh, it's a beautiful place, and I'm really glad that uh, we took the time to come here. to our first stop on the way back down the mountain I have no idea where we are but it is uh, in some ways actually a better looking shot than the main waterfall uh, let me turn around here and show you what I've got so we've got this uh, little overlap here and just down here at the bottom on the other side of these rocks is a huge huge ice ball along with ice coming down over here um, and a really nice water uh, flow coming around those rocks so we've kind of been inching our way around here to get close to some shots well worth the time to stop get off the track just a little bit take a look around uh, and from what I remember of the walk up here there's a lot more places to stop on the way back to the car This is our second stop after the waterfall, isn't it? Pretty sure I've lost track. My, uh, my hip flexors are gone. My, uh, my thighs are burning. <laughs> but I am determined. <laughs> Let me turn around here and show you what I got. So we've got this little bit of a waterfall coming down here right next to this massive stone. And I did not get out my wide angle lens to get all that in there. This stone reminds me of a big humpback whale coming out of the water. Um, what I did get was this tree here in the front as a foreground element. Uh, I'll put the pictures up here and then uh, because Ron recommended it I got my phone out and used the re-expose app to take some pictures that I'll put up here now at one second and two seconds and three second exposure um, just to kind of see what the phone does for fun um, and you can let me know in the comments what you think about those images and before we go we'll get a little image there of uh, the master at work getting his shot down low beautiful beautiful place out here it's absolutely gorgeous
Well, we have made it back to the car park. So when Ron and I started this thing this morning, just a little after eight, there was only the two of us here. And now we've got an entirely full car park. I think we've met just about everybody on the trail. Uh, it's just a tad over five miles out and back. Um, the first couple of miles, well, let me just show you. Maybe, I think I can get it to show up. So, I don't know how easy this is going to see, but we're here at the park. And we walked up this trail uh, to a bridge right up here. And then you'll see that there are all these switchbacks that go up to the falls. Um, those switchbacks are what killed me. <laughs> so we did, uh, we did the 2.7 miles out, 2.7 miles back. We stopped a couple of places on the way back to take some pictures. And by the time we finished that second location, thank God, the sun came out and made it impossible to get any decent pictures because I don't think I could have climbed over any more rocks. <laughs> so my legs feel like jello. My hips hurt like the dickens. Um, I am ready to go home. I'm ready to take about a half a bottle of Advil and uh, sit back and relax and edit this video. And we'll see where we go from there. Hope y'all enjoyed the tour. Uh, I will be back. I may not go all the way to the falls next time. There are so many beautiful places to stop just along the riverbed to get gorgeous, gorgeous shots. And to go there wouldn't kill me.